Hey, what's up? What's up, XO Nicole readers and watchers? I'm your girl Danielle Young here on the 94th annual Oscars red carpet. And it's history in the making, honey, because this is the first time the Oscars has an all-black production company to produce the Oscars. Our boy, Will Packer, our girl, Shayla Cohen, shout out to them. Let's see how this history can change the world. I'm just excited. I'm excited for people to see how much work everybody's put into it. I mean, Will's got some really great, fun ideas to try and make, you know, something that's been around so long, but 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 also make it feel new and, and have fresh. Listen, it means we still got to go at it. We still got to work hard. It's what I get up every day to do. This shouldn't be the first time this is happening, but you know, we're just moving forward with love and joy, and we're just so proud of everything that we have accomplished, that my sister has accomplished, and we just keep trucking along for our ancestors, you know? It's kind of surprising to me, um, but not surprising, and that's the sad part, but I'm just happy to see our progress. I'm just happy to see that, um, you know, we're able to take control of these spaces. I think the evolution of the process has been impressive because now we're finally caught up and everybody feels seen and everybody feels heard. It was long coming, and I think now more than ever we should feel proud of our diversity, who we came from, our parents, our family members, our roots. More than ever we should feel proud to celebrate it. We have suffered generational racism, and we have uh, uh, overcome a lot of obstacles, many that seemed insurmountable. And if we really were to talk about first and insurmountable obstacles, there'd be a lot of names of black people that came before us and, and, and taught us and gave us strength. I am so proud of, of us as a people, everything that we're doing, and anytime we're acknowledged and seen, it's a great thing. I think that it's fantastic, you know, um, it's been a slow burn. You know, but it's catching fire, and so that's fantastic. And for all black and brown people, we just have to keep the pressure on. I can't imagine, you know, 60, 70 years ago there was segregation. Some of these people in my orchestra didn't get a chance to sit next to Caucasian orchestra members. They, I've, I've heard stories of how, you know, uh, prejudice has infused in who was hired for the orchestra for an event like this. So just to be in 2022 and to still be breaking barriers, it's a plus and it's positive, but it feels, you know, that we have a long way to go.